Welcome back to another video tutorial for the Pirate MIDI bridge controllers. Today we're going to be talking all about how to use expression pedals with your bridge controller. I know we've already covered the flexiport mode of expression in, but let's really dig into it and see how you can use it on your rig. Let's first set our flexiport mode to expression pedal in. We highly recommend that you set your flexiport mode before plugging anything into it. So we go into our menu, global, flexiports, we're going to use flexiport 1 and we're going to change that to expression. Now I'll take my expression pedal and plug it into flexiport 1. Now when I exit the menu, you'll see we have our expression bar graph on the flexiport 1 in the extended UI. You can see the graph goes up and down as I move the pedal up and down. Now, Say this graph doesn't go all the way to the top, like so, or all the way to the bottom, something like that. You can calibrate your expression pedal. Here's how you do that. Go into the menu, go to global, expression pedals, uh, go to expression pedal 1A, because we're on expression uh, on flexiport one, and we'll go to calibrate, and hold expression pedal at max position, and then it does a countdown, and it tells me to hold it at the minimum position, and it does another countdown. And now it says calibrated 0.00% to 99.68%. So I get pretty much the full range of possibility out of this pedal. If your graph wasn't displaying properly before, it should be now minimum to maximum on the screen, like so. Now let's add some messages so that we can actually do something with this expression pedal. There's two different things you can use. You can use bank messages or you can use global messages. Bank messages are a set of 16 messages that you can set for every expression pedal per bank. So that's 16 messages, completely different, completely different order, completely different function every time you change the bank. Then there's global expression messages. They will be sent regardless of what bank you're on. So that's a set of 16 messages that will be sent by that expression pedal anytime you move it, regardless of the bank. You could have one expression pedal set to use only bank messages and another expression pedal set to only use global messages, or you can mix and match depending on how creative you want to be or how useful that might be to you at the time. Here's where you find your expression messages. We enter our menu, we go to expression pedals, 1A, and there's our bank messages. Now let's add a message to this stack. We'll press switch four to add the message. Now we're given a whole bunch of default settings here. By default, you'll be on control change, but you can also change that to other types as well. But we'll stick with control change for now. We're going to choose, leave it on channel one. We'll choose CC number seven, which is generally volume. And then we can go across to the MIDI outputs and we only say want to send this out to the DIN 5 MIDI output. So we'll turn all the others off and now it's only going to go to our DIN 5 output, whatever that's connected to. Maybe to our MIDI interface and to a software synthesizer which accepts CC number 11 as an expression control. We'll go over to the next page and then you will have a minimum and maximum limit. So you can set the maximum MIDI value that it will send or the minimum MIDI value that it will send. So let's say we want to bump that up to seven and we want to bring the max down to 120. So that will then for the full range only limit it to those values. And then the sweep shows the, the actual curve that the expression pedal will take. The default is linear. That means that it's a straight line uh, of the MIDI value versus the position of the pedal. You can choose logarithmic, which has a slower acceleration at the low end of the pedal, uh, or reverse logarithmic, which slows down the acceleration as you reach the top end of the pedal. So that can be useful. And because you can set this on each individual message, you can have one message that's linear, being sent at the exact same time as another message, which is being sent with a different minimum maximum range with a different sweep type. You can have 16 of those all going at once if you so desire. And then if you go over again, it just takes you back to the start of those settings. So let's save that. And we will now have 
going out of our DIN 5, we will have MIDI CC7 be sent with the logarithmic, I think we chose, logarithmic sweep and it will have a minimum value of 7 and a maximum value of 120 at the bottom and the top of the sweep. Now related to expression messages are some of our smart messages which you will control with switches. So I'll just show you those. If we go into our switches, switch one, we'll add a message to the press event. We'll add a message, go to smart messages, and then we have our increment expression message, our decrement expression message, and our go-to expression message. Now, what these do is they control that bank message stack of expression messages and global message stack of expression messages. And they will make it so instead of sending all, all of them at once, you'll actually only send one at a time. So for example, this go-to expression message, you can choose the expression pedal that you want to target and then you choose the step or the message in that stack that you want to go to. So any of these switches can be programmed to make the expression pedal send out a particular MIDI message at any given time. And that's pretty much what the increment and decrement expression messages do as well. They'll start at the top and they'll just go to the next message in the stack. Because those smart messages can target both the bank messages and the global messages for the expression pedal, that means that you can have multiple interactions going on at once um, and you can get some really creative sound morphing going. On top of the logarithmic and reverse logarithmic sweeps, you also have inverse linear, inverse logarithmic and inverse reverse logarithmic sweeps. And that means that the value sent will actually be inverted. So we'll start from the maximum and go to the minimum. So you can have two cross fading effects if you set it up like that. As far as expression messages go, that's all there is. So get your thinking caps on, figure out how you can creatively use that in your situation, and I'll see you next time.